Right here, they just pulling up, uh, what's that, the cucumbers or the char? Yeah, they pulling up the char so they can get ready uh, to replant. This was the char here. So they taking this up so they can replant uh, something else. Because you know, uh, after so long, you know, you uh, take it up and then you plant something different here. You never plant the same thing. You know, now, like, um, I can see that you're leaving some debris in the soil. Is, that, is there a reason for that? Well, it's helping the mineral. Okay. Yeah, keep it rich, you know. But we won't plant no more char here. It may be some kale here or some arugula or whatever they have planned for the uh, for the winter. Mm. You know, cause we grow seasonal. Mm -hmm. Yes. So whatever we have for the season. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Lewis here is uh, what is that there? Lord. What is now? Mr. Lewis is planting cement here. <clears throat> Let me make sure. Yeah, these cement. This deal. This deal here. Not mint. You're going to plant some deal. And they should be ready about. Growed up about 60 days, 60 to 90 days. Now, where are those flats coming from? Are you growing those yourself? Yes. From seed? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we, germ we have a germination house that we have over there on uh, 50th and Laughner. We germinate them, man. Okay. Right here is onions. You know, <laughs> yep. And Miss Tina, she's getting ready uh, to get it together now for it. She done already made her rows, so she's gonna spread them out about six inches apart from one another. No. So uh, she'll have that ready uh, in yeah. about yeah. the next uh, 30 or 40 minutes. Your trial. She had that together. And these here was uh, uh, the carrots. No, these weren't the carrots. These was uh, the turnips here. So turnips would not go here again. They have something else planting here. After they get the bed together, because they're redoing the beds first, hmm. you know. So it'll be uh, before the end of the day they have it all planted. You know what they they gonna plant for today? Cause we do everything on the schedule plan. Now, how long would it take them to plant the whole thing? Just one day, or? Well, it varies. Uh, it depends on uh, how many beds you using. And uh, what type of uh, work do we have available to do? Mm. You know, because you can plant it. Sometimes we can have it did in uh, two days. Sometimes it might be two weeks. Mm. Now, you know? I notice you kind of have a watering system in here. Is that yes, a drip, drip tape. Okay. This way, you know what I'm saying, all we have to do is turn the water on and just let it run instead of, you know, have to just use a water hose, use drip tape. Great. Because different uh, vegetables need different type of watering system. You know, where you, you know, you know, some of the uh, vegetables don't need no water on the top of it, just need the water on the inside. Mm -hmm from the bottom mm. with just the roots. So then in about how many days will it be till you're harvesting this? 
Well, the average uh, one take about 90 days. 90 days? For the yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, in that 90 day period, what sorts of things will they have to do to take care of it? Well, you have to water it, uh, you have to uh, cultivate, you know, stop uh, the weeds from getting in the way of it. So, because, you know, if the weeds in the way, that means to stop it from its growth and plus uh, smothering it up. Mm. So we don't need the weeds. We try to keep the weeds down. And we basically, hand, we do a lot of hand weeding so it don't tear up uh, none of the vegetables. Yes. You know, that's why uh, you do the hand weeding and you try to uh, weed them, kill all the weeds at an early stage because if you keep it under control at an early stage, it won't get there, uh, kill it before it grow. You don't have to worry about doing it later on. Yeah. Oh, uh, these here is beets that we're gonna grow. These will be beets in a little while. Yeah, and these are some, some beets of salad mix. Okay, yeah, them beets. Yeah, the red beets. Yep. So the beets will be planted which you see it already planted right here, but some more be planted over here. And then these some peppers right here. And, uh, you know, they have it already scheduled for where they plant each, uh, each one of them. Because they're not going to plant the same thing in the same area. You know. Do you have, like, uh, drawn up map or some kind of uh, decided on rotation? A schedule, yes, have a schedule. That's, yes, that's where uh, Tyra come in and uh, he do that, uh, keep the schedule for that. Okay. Him and Auburn, they have the schedule for that. That's their department, you know. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, Mr. Tower, the, the farm site manager assistant. So he runs this site basically, him and Auburn. So they keep up with them schedules. Hmm. Yes. No. They keep all of this stuff in a tight shipment. Well, here's some more peppers. That's gonna be grown right here. You know, different type of stuff. And these here look like some turnips. Different type of turnip greens. I'm not mistaken. Tosco. Yep. Then need some leek, dill. Yeah, scallions here. These are our scallions. Okay. And everything that to be planted. And we have the labors to tell you what everything is on the side. So these are some more scallions right here. See, it started off at 8 01 08. That was the day that the seeds been put in here. That must be quite a bit of work to plant all this. Yes, uh, drop, drop a seed or two in each one of them. You know. Yeah. So, you know, we everybody is taught how to do it all as well. 
So it ain't like uh, one person know how to do it and the next person don't. Everybody in the program needs to have to learn it. Yes. You know. So uh, Mr. Auburn and Mr. Tyra, they be in charge of it. You know, the state department here. But this is our third hoop house, this the third one that was built. You know, that was the first one, that's the second one, and this the third one here. Are you looking to build some more soon? Hopefully. Uh, we ain't putting no more on this site. Uh, we have some more new sites I uh, haven't seen yet. But Mr. Uh, Rose now, you know, got approved a couple of blocks away. The city gave to us, sold us, you know, for a dollar, so. Cool. Yeah, we're going to take them sites and teach uh, the kids how to uh, do it as well, school kids. Great. Yes. So we try to stay connected with the community. Very good. You know, that our program is first and foremost based on community, you know, mm -hmm. support of group. Yeah, so we support the community as well as the community supporting us. So it all weighs out evenly, you know. We giving back what was freely given unto us, you know, unconditionally. Yes. Maybe you can and, explain this process to us over here. Okay. Over here is where we have our compost at. See every. Every kind of vegetable and fruit that we have be over there, that's the compost chain. You start it off by just putting them there, and then it breaks itself down with the uh, worms, you know. And this is how we are. Uh, one day this would all be uh, worm casting, you know. Uh, I'll probably have to go over to our other site to show you that. Uh, the worm casting, you know, uh, but it started, this is the first stage over here, and then it breaks itself down, once the worm breaks them down, and then uh, when it go to the second phrase, this is number one phrase, number two phrase of it is, uh, you take it and you put it in another bin, and then it breaks itself down again, some more. You know, it breaks itself all the way back down into soil again. And that's what the worm helped do it. And then that soil will go back into the hoop houses? Or? Yeah, well the soil, is, the worm casting is like a vitamin. You know what I'm saying, for uh, the soil. And we'll put that down with soil as well. You know, where you have the best soil that you can have you know how you have uh, multiple vitamins and stuff? That's the same way this would be as well. You know. Now you're growing a couple things out here. What are these things out here? That you yes. Okay, these are the, the mustard. These are the mustard, turnips, and uh, these are the strawberries over here. Different type of mustard greens, uh, top bachos. These are Chinese, uh, these Chinese cabbage here, which is starting to flower. You know, so you just break the flowers off on them. Uh, it's not really bad. It's just that uh, it's growing uh, too high. We should have just uh, take them up, you know, because it's still good to eat, though, you know. But uh, they'll be better if you catch it before it start uh, to flowering, you know. See, when if when the flowers get on them, you know it's time to cut them. So you can start eating them. 
<laughs> you know. And this here is our compost soil, which we put every all of our uh, food. The plants come on these soils here. The soil go inside each one of these hoop houses, and that's what we grow them on. With this soil, uh, this compost here, you know, uh, you put it inside the hoop houses, and uh, so you can make your beds, and then you put down, uh, when you put your plants inside the ground, that's when you put your worm casting in it, you know. And then uh, you water it and watch it uh, start the processing. <laughs> it's a unique uh, thing, you know. Like, Can you look inside this one next? Sure. This one. Strawberry mostly be gone. I see the tomatoes that have been pulled up. <laughs> okay, before we start, yeah, these are heirloom tomatoes here. They're heirloom tomatoes? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, these are heirloom tomatoes. Oops. Yep. See them. See, quite we a few got, of them in there growing, I could see. Yeah. How many tomatoes do you think you get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> so many, you can't count them. <laughs> Over 200 pounds. So, so about how many? Probably a couple thousand pounds. Yeah. Let's see. Are you filming yet? Yeah, we're filming. Oh, okay, these are alum tomatoes. Right here. This one ready. This one here will be ready in a few more days. Uh, would you like to see it? Yeah. This is about each one of these rows is a couple thousand pounds of tomato will grow on them. Now, are you growing different varieties? Or different just different varieties. varieties. Yeah, we do different varieties of them. So these are heirloom tomatoes. What, what yes. Is, how do you tell the difference between an heirloom tomato and a different kind? Well, heirloom had their own. You stink. You stink. Uh, did uh size and uh, looks on them. You know, uh, these is uh, the strawberry, uh, the, brandy one? the brandy, yeah, the brandy uh, alums. Uh, they stay pinkish looking. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they're really uh, good. And uh, these, the orange ones, these are uh, tomatoes here used for uh, tomato paste. So you have some good looking ones. Well, you can't see none of them over here because they've been picked. Just got the baby ones over here. Mm -hmm. So we we'll have to move down some more. And uh, let me see how will we be able to. We can maybe go down the side or somewhere over there. Okay, you want to go down the side this way or you want to go. Yeah, it might be out. easier to go on that side with the camera. Don't you think? Okay. He's not going to be able to get on their side from there. That's, see, on here you can still be on their side. Oh, I see. I see. So would you like to stay on the inside of it or? Are you guys going down all the way? We can't. Is that what you're doing? Uh, yeah, he's got other tomatoes these on the two other are, side. He to these show. two are my pick for y'all. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> see, I just. Let me get a close up of those. Okay. Those are beautiful. Show us your products yeah. here. They look like small pumpkins. 
<laughs> yep. Brand new alum tomato. And we usually sell these like four dollars a pound. These top of the line tomatoes. Great. Yes. So tonight or tomorrow when y'all eat them, you say, oh, well, I got the best tomatoes that I can get. <laughs> We're gonna For think just an interview. <laughs> <laughs> All it cost me was an interview. <laughs> you know? Yep. Try to find y'all the best ones. Well, thank you. Yeah. Have to get y'all get y'all a few more of them, too. You know, I'm going to sit these. I'll just sit them over here for right now. Trying to sneak around the side here. Yeah, we can probably flip to the side, yeah. Make sure Okay, these are some of the paste tomatoes here. Yep. Would you like to taste one? Y'all like to taste? Sure. Tonight, the sage. Okay. What is this again? The sage. Yep. Yeah, y'all so I'm take home with y'all. <laughs> See the grasshopper. Oh yeah. What's he doing on there? Another one there. Ladybug on top too. Y'all can split these up. <laughs> Sage. And right over here, you said is is time over here. Yeah, these are time. Yep. And get you some seals and cut y'all some of this here. Paris, if you feed us, we're not going to leave. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll to kick us out. put this chime in some everything. 
your salads, you know, your greens, yeah, potatoes, uh, okay, I'm gonna sit these over here for right now. Okay, you had Yes, these is these are the bell peppers now. Looking for let's see the best ones that I would like to get. Do you grow all the different colors? Or? Yes, wide variety of them. Yep, see here's a different color one here. Okay. It's been off the off the, uh, the vine for a while, so it kind of wilts it. Then this one I just picked. Yes, they didn't get the other ones. They didn't already start harvesting the rest of them. See the different ones of them? Well, somebody done broke this here thing, so the rest of these bell pepper would not grow now. So, just have to take them off like they are. This happens when you don't be careful. So now you done lost about 30 bell peppers. So that's losing, costing us some money that we could have made off this hill, somebody could have ate, could have fed another whole family. You know, for another month or two. It's gotta be hard for you to see that. Yes. Yeah. The mistakes that happen when you don't be careful. You know, we try to uh, mentalize the errors and mistakes that happens. Cause each mistake costs some money. And could have looked at it like that could have fed a whole family. Do you try to get all the other people that work here to look at it the same way? Or? Yes. Yes, we try to hurry up and bed that in them from day one. And not only do we tell them, but we'll show them the prime example of what we are talking about. See, cause today now they'll go and teach their kids and their family members and friends on the knowledge that they was given. See, this ain't a knowledge that uh, you just get and you try to keep it for yourself. This is a knowledge that you get and pass it on to others as well. You know, because there's some good knowledge. See, so these bell peppers here, you know, will go to y'all cause to feed you and your family today. You know, and then these is our dino kill here. What sorts of you know, meals would you make with this? What is, I mean, with the bell peppers? It? No, the dino. Oh, the dino kale. Well, you can cook it more or less like spinach. Uh, you know, you cook it for about four or five minutes, or you can saute it, or boil it. You know, there's it's numerous ways of cooking dino kale. Well, any kind of kale, actually. Like these kills here, them being uh, burnt, uh, the sun got to them a little too much. Hmm. You know, to some of them. It's got the brown in them. So basically, uh, <clears throat> you see. So basically, when they get brown like this here, you know, you just take them off the, the stem. You know, so they can keep the other ones want to intervene with the rest of them. The rest of it will grow? Yes. You know. 
he just do them. Some people still use them when they like that. I'm not that knowledgeable about the dino kill. Hmm. And then these here, some more bell peppers here. That we will use them for the next market after this here. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we try to uh, use each one of them, uh, preserve everything so we can... Uh, have them from week to week. They have enough. You know, sometimes we don't have enough, sometimes we may have too much. It's best to have more than enough than not enough. Mm. So, because you know, some of us gonna go bad. Mm -hmm. Things happen, so you need to always try to plant a little more than you need. Yeah. Yeah, and hope and pray for the best. You know, here's some really big cucumbers here. There's over here on this one, these few plants. See, but we know they'll be ready for next week. Those will be good for your farmer's market. Yes, they'll be excellent for it. And these here, we go to feed you and your family. Oh, that's excellent. These Thank you very wonderful much. bell peppers. Beautiful. You know, and you'll tell me, or call me and let me know how you like it. You got it. You got let it. Let me know if this the top or if it ain't. You done had much better stuff or you done had stuff that wasn't as good. I'm knowing nine out of ten times you're going to tell me it's the, if it's not the best, it's some of the best <laughs> that you done had. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be great. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is the end of this hoop house event. Unless you want to see the size now, the sage here that yeah, we, we have. We filmed that a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. But there's one uh, more place we haven't seen, that's the, the greens. Right? Okay. Can we, can we take oh, yeah. a look at that? Yeah. Sure. I see I'm getting filmed by the news people. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, these are the dino kills here. Sorry about being interrupted. These are dino kale. These are the collard greens right here. And those, the char and that row, and the last two rows over there is the Swiss char. <coughs> These are the Swiss char, the colorful ones. You know, the ones with just the white uh, stems on them is just the regular char. The purple ones is the Swiss char. Oh, okay. Yeah, all the ones with the color is Swiss char. These here yeah. is your kill. These here is uh, the Red Russia kill. Yep, and those is Red Boar kill. Right over here. Let me uh, jump over this here. These are the Red Boar kill. These are the Red Russia kills. You know, these are some old Swiss chars over here. You know, all up and down through there, Swiss char and char. And the kale. <laughs> these are some more collard greens here. These are some more dino kills. Some more collops over there. And these here is the winter boar kale. These winter boar kale. It's all green leaf, the green curly one. These are our Swiss chars over here. You know, these are Swiss char. Yep. They really growing. Yep.
these are the different type of Swiss char here. Out of these, which ones do you like the best? Which ones do you, you like to take home and eat? Me, um, yeah, out the char to kill, I like the char better. What about the greens? Do you like the greens? The, I like the collard greens better than uh, all of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the collards is my favorite ones. How do you prepare them? Well, actually, I don't do the cooking on them. Uh, too much because I be doing all the work so usually either my girl or my mother cook them or my daughters okay. I leave them to cook it because I be doing too much out of work now you must have quite a bit of pride when you get to walk home with some of this produce and hand it to your yes I do yeah yeah, and just to see the look on their face, you know, when we, when I bring it home to them, like, yeah, we got this here. <laughs> we got us something good today. <laughs> yes, indeed. See, I'm going to try to, anything that ain't right, try to get rid of it at first, so you don't have to worry about getting it out the way later on. You know. Yep. See this. Rise and wildness. Okay. Well. They telling me I'm bringing home a lot of food. And one thing for sure, you know how to do your job. <laughs> like yesterday, I bought some uh, spinach. You know, not, I'm sorry, not the spinach, uh, the turnips. You know, because I like turnips so well. So I was doing the market, and uh, you know, I buy from us all the time. So I'm like, okay, well, let me buy these here two bunches before they be gone. You know, because a lot of times uh, I end up selling the stuff sometimes, and then I don't be in a gap what I needed. So, you know, that'd be a great letdown. So yesterday I said, well, let me go and buy this here first and put this over to the side, you know. So, because uh, I'm always buying me something, you know. Cause I like to eat up stuff, so I need to buy it as well. You know, which my director taught me that. See, that's some of the things that people can teach. You can learn some things from people without them have to say something to you, but you just learn them naturally just by following their lead. See, so uh, just like today when he bought the honey from me. See, if my director can buy and he the director, then I'm just a coordinator. I need to buy it as well. You know what I'm saying? Not just take it home because, you know, uh, I'm the market coordinator. I need to pay for this here so we can keep this fund generated and continue, you know what I'm saying, to make this here operation grow further. You know, because it's about us making some money, not taking no money. So... I need to try to make all the money I can make for the company. You know, that's why I was chosen to be put in the position that I'm putting in. Because I need to, you know, lead by example. See, I can't, if I'm misleading the people, then that means I'm giving them some false information. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm showing them, you know, well, hey, I'm going in my pockets, I'm paying for this here because this here is the best stuff that you're going to get, then it's going to encourage them to do the same thing. See, I don't have to tell them, I show them, you know, my actions, my walk of life. You know, because they said the truth is the light. So I just try to live in the truth. 
you know, because I know I ain't no bad, especially, but I understand that God brought me all this way, not just for, for to help me, but for me to help others as well. You know, I need not to get cocky and brag and boast, but stay joyful and grateful for me having the opportunity of having this great experience, because everybody don't get this great experience, you know. So it's an honor and a privilege to have this here up under my uh, belt, these skills. You see, because a lot of people don't have these skills. So I'm very grateful for them. Yep. So this is for y'all. And if there's anything else y'all want, y'all need to come on with some money. <laughs> 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 well, thank you. Thank you very much. That. For the marketing guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would have given you stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's wearing his hat, so he Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I guess that's the end of the tour. But these, but these are some great produce for real though. All jokes aside, we are the best. Yeah. But it comes from hard work and dedication. You know, they say what you put in something is what you get out of it. So if you don't put no work in it, you ain't gonna get no work out of it. So we have to put the work in in order to get some good results out of it. You know, that's how it works. Yep. That's why we're growing at home, because we're learning to grow. You know, not just grow produce, but we learn how to grow as human beings. You know, learn how to be a better parent, you know. Learn how to be a better salesman. You know, all of that is helped better in me. You know, teaching me how to uh do better communication skills. You know? See me and my me and my co-worker, we all sit down and you know, we go through some stuff together. You know, they help me get through a whole lot of things. They teach me every day that I'm not alone and I don't have to uh, put that mask on no more. You know what I'm saying? See, I can take that mask and let the skies off. See, I understand that I ain't no creep no more. I used to be a creep, but today, you know, I'm a human being. You know, I help people unconditionally. You know, People help me unconditionally. You know, that's how it worked. You know, I learned how to readjust to society. You know, deal with the real world. And I'm having a ball dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, every day of my life I'm having a ball. At the best time of my lifetime, I would trade it off for uh, no amount of money in this world. See, money can't buy what I got. That's peace and happiness. You know what I'm saying? Just like my God Eve. <laughs> and I'm at peace with it. You know? Yep. So that's my story. That's what I have. Oh, we have some. I forgot to show you my gold, our golden beets, too. You see our golden beets here? 
See, these are our beets. Yep, these is the golden beets. Say top of the line, what we put in, what we get out. So you see, it's rewarding at the end of the rainbow. Now, Paris, you have a little area for processing as well, right? Yes. And what sort of stuff goes on over there? Processing, uh, loading up everything. I'll take you over there. Just wanted to get you all the uh, beach right. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. That's beautiful. Coming over here, I'm going to be here forever. Yeah. Feeding me too good. See, y'all got you all the beach. Oh, Some good beach. Too good. Oh, let's sit them in there. Oops. Huh. Your neighbors must love just watching all the food grow over there. Yeah. Like the old lady over there, you know, she have a garden and stuff too. That Does she have. really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. So where are we now? Uh, we're in the process area. Right here is where we do the washing at. See, we got some, we got some uh, regular char in here. It's been washed. Add some cucumbers that we wash in. You know. Uh, you just wash oh, them in water? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't because we do organic. You know what I'm saying? See, these are our tomatoes here, the cucumbers, the bell peppers and the jalapeno peppers, the scallions, cucumbers and uh, turnips. And zucchinis, then them kills, stuff that's getting ready. All of this here is getting ready to go to the market tomorrow morning. So we'll finish this here this afternoon. Uh, Tyra, Auburn, and myself, we'll load this up, put it in the coolers, and then we'll load the van up, put it in the van for our market, Green City market tomorrow morning. We start at 7 o'clock. Is at uh, Lincoln Park, right across the street from Lincoln Park Zoo, on Lincoln and Clark Street, every Saturday at 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And it will go on to the end of October. Then we'll start the winter market inside the Natural Museum. Oh, really? Yes. Cool. Yeah, that's all. That'll be up to December, from November the 1st to December the 22nd, 23rd. Hmm. Yes, and that'll be from 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock, 1.30, every Saturday. And as I say, this this is where we process, wash everything. Uh, right here is where we sit on the stuff and let the vegetable dry. And here's where we weigh it up. Count it up and weigh it up right out through here, and then we send it out to be uh, delivered to the market for me to sell tomorrow. Yep, and that's my dolly that we pack everything on so we can carry from from the receiving area here to the van. Okay. Yes. So tomorrow morning we will be there at 5 in the morning to set it up and to have it ready for 7 o'clock in the morning for the customers to give us that bomb rush and say, give us our produce. <laughs> <laughs> give us our wonderful produce. So do you have some certain customers that keep coming back? Yes, yes, I have a bunch of them. They've been with us for years. They're loyal. Tour. And uh, half of them will be at our harvest celebration tomorrow. 
that we have uh, our Les, uh, Les Brown Remora Farm. That's out in Marcells, Illinois, 75 miles southwest of here on Route 80, which is about an hour and a half, two hours drive away uh, during the Harvest Fest tomorrow. What sorts of things will go on there? Uh, the Harvest Fest is uh, the celebration for uh, the, uh, the farm and uh, more or less brown, you know, our founder. Okay. Well, we have some music and cooking demonstrations. Cool. Tours. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which our farm used to be a radio broadcast station. And uh, Mr. Brown and Mr. Rose uh, was the first two to uh, head, well, Mr. Rose headed up growing home for Mr. Brown because Mr. Brown had the vision and Mr. Rose carried his vision out. They connected and uh, he led the man vision out to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just as Mr. Brown vision it, uh, Mr. Rose made it come true, you know, and uh, it's like it was, uh, see, that's why I say this is a God program, you know what I'm saying, because, uh, you know, bless his soul, Mr. Brown, you know what I'm saying, had that vision, you know, Mr. Rose delivered that vision, and it's, you know, it's all unfolding, you know, everything that they tell you that Mr. Brown stood for, you know, Mr. Rose uh, carried it out. Yeah. So we're living in uh, some great times, you know, a history making. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm glad to be a part of that. Yeah. You know, I would have allowed to have met Mr. Brown, you know, but uh, I didn't have the honor and privilege to meet him. I just had the honor and privilege of being a part of his dream. So that's the next best thing I can have. What do you think would have happened to you if there was no growing home? Oh, I'm probably end up dead or in jail. Because I probably would have been back in the streets doing, practicing those old behaviors. And uh, God probably would have got tired of that. But, you know, he said, no, I'm going to make you a living testimony. You know, that, you know, I am, you know, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That he deliver a wrench like me. And it's. Yes, he did. <laughs> I thank God for him. I praise him every day for his mercy. Because I wouldn't have put up with me, I would have been got rid of me. And you know, he dealt with me, so you know, kept me aboard. If he was able to keep me aboard, I know he'll keep anybody else aboard. And that's why I continue to tell the end terms, you know, just give it a chance. It'll happen. Yep, it'll definitely happen. And these are our wonderful cucumbers. Oh my gosh. You know? Y'all can have some of these cucumbers. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. They're they the best. These are the best ones. Oh, great.